What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here and today we are back with another review and I could not wait to get this one out to you guys. I've been trying these devices out for the past week or so. These are the Quilt 2 and the Quilt 3. Now, cloud storage has never been so easy. Want to see what I'm talking about? Let's check them out. So Quilt is a company that has actually put together these cloud storage systems. Now, this is your own personal cloud storage system, guys. Quilt 2 and Quilt 3. These are similar devices. This is the upgraded model, of course, hence the 3 behind it. Um, these are cloud storage devices. So the Quilt 2 boasts a 1.2 gigahertz drive. Um, you got two USB 2.0. 100 megabytes per second upload speeds and it connects only to a 2.4 gigahertz network while the quilt 3 has 1.5 gigahertz usb 3.0 1 gigabyte per second upload speeds and it connects to 2.4 as well as 5 gigahertz networks now both of these are basically the same like i mentioned at first same style device same ports on the side same ports on the back so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the Quilt 2. I'm going to put it right down. And we're going to focus more so on Quilt 3 since it is a little bit faster and a little bit more powerful. So this is what you get out of the box. You actually also get different adapters for the wall depending on what part of the world you live in. You get an Ethernet port. You get an HDMI cable. And that's pretty much it. And a power adapter which I have that back there for our little demonstration we'll do in just a moment. Get your K up top. No other markings are on here, except for input. Um, input ports, you got SD card slot, USB, USB, 3.0 USB, another USB, audio, HDMI, ethernet, and power over here. Now this device, you're gonna be able to plug in all of your hard drives, your memory cards, things of that nature, and you're gonna be able to access this anywhere you go. Moving the box, plugging it in, and we're gonna actually get this show on the road. So what I'm gonna do is it, the Quilt 3 comes with a 32 gig flash drive, little thumb drive. The Quilt 2 comes with a 16 gig. I'm going to just plug this in right there on the back. And then I got a few more things I wanna plug in. I got SD card, just gonna put that in. I got a Samsung 500 gig, USB 3.0 is going in. I have a my passport for Mac. Plug that in. And like I said, we got all this plugged in. It's all right here. Just gonna store it off screen so it's not a whole lot of clutter here in the face. Um, I just plugged this in so it's gonna take a little while for it to load up. But while that's going on, let's actually talk about the app that you're gonna download. So this is the actual Quilt app. You're gonna come here to the app store. You're gonna download it. It's gonna be on your desktop or your... So you can use this on Windows, Mac, Android, anywhere you can use it. Once you get this connected to your devices um, and you actually get it set up, setup is really easy. You're just gonna connect it to your Wi-Fi. Make sure that your devices are on the same Wi-Fi network, whether it be your phone, your tablet, your computer. Make sure that they are connected to the same Wi-Fi network as the box. You get it on, do this, it's gonna ask you what devices. So right here, we got the Quilt, Fagan's Family, iPad, boom. You're gonna click on that, it's on. I don't want my iPad photos to show up, so I'm not doing that. Next, I'm going to go back out here. Now you can copy things directly from the device to these devices over here through your cloud or whatever you have. So I have tons of videos, guys. So every video that I do, I actually back it up and I save it to a hard drive. So all my videos are showing up right here. 
really easy, really convenient. And if I want to actually show the videos on my iPad, I'm going to click here. You can upload, you can download, you can do whatever you need to do. You can even view these videos. Now, like I said, none of these videos are actually on my iPad at the time. I'm going to just show you guys how this is going to work. I'm just going to click on a video. You click on it, it pops up, populates that actual video, and then hit play. All right, so two minute timer is up and we are now about to start the curing process. So the curing process is gonna be done with this UV light that we have set up right here that I showed you, we told you we would come. So that's it, that's how it's gonna work. You're gonna actually reach back into the cloud from your home, from your office, from your vacation. You're gonna pull these videos, you're gonna be able to check them out. So this can be connected directly to your TV through HDMI, we talked about it's HDMI on the back. Connect it directly to your TV, enjoy movies, share your photos, basically whatever you want to do. And it's safe and secure because it's on your personal network. Like I said, we got photos, we got videos, tons of things. Keep all your family memories. I know it's a lot of space. Like this is over two terabytes of storage I got over here, but I'm able to access all of that right here directly through this app anytime I get ready, whether it's a picture I want to look at, whether it's a video I want to pull up, anything that I need, I got it all right here. So I'll be sure and drop links below to both of these products. You can go and check them out. The Quilt 2 is going to cost you about 89 bucks and the Quilt 3 is going to run you 149. But I think it's really a good thing to have just because you're going to be able to reach back whenever you want to get those pictures of those videos and use them anytime that you want. So hopefully this is able to help someone out. Free up that space on your iPad. Check out Quilt. Be sure and give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.